Hello, PASW of this Happy Thursday. It's our character creation challenge. I am standing in the enchanted forest with the trees and a path around me. I'm wearing a long purple dress and a cape. I have my long hair wig on. There's a reason why I'm doing that. I always have a reason why. But before I get to the reason why and our character creation challenges for today, let's do some moving and grooving, okay? Again, a third time. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A fourth time. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our final time. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Just put every hand together. And really just focus on rubbing your hands together. Put all your energy and rubbing your hands together back and forth. And just focus all your energy on that. And imagine all that heat you're creating in your hands. That's all that energy that's going through your entire body. Good. Now shake your hands. And again, you're shaking your hands like when they're wet. You shake them. You just feel that energy. Just feel that energy. Get pulsating through your body. Feel that energy. You're shaking. 
Good. Okay, Wait, good. good. And then we're all energized. We've done our breath work. So I am dressed like this because today the genre we're working on is children's stories. Imagining we're the host, our hostess of a children's program. So, you know, I, I think I told you a couple, a lot of actors work in the area of doing children programming. Like I told you, we talked about Rio Moreno and um, Morgan Freeman a couple of weeks ago. They both, I remember them both from a lot of company. And I know they've done lots of wonderful work then. But I, as a kid, that was my first um, memory of both Rita Moreno and um, Morgan Freeman. Larry Fishburne got to start, Lawrence Fishburne rather, got to start on Pee Wee's Playhouse. LeVar Burden, who you know from Roots and Star Trek The Next Generation, he hosted a show for years called The Reading Rainbow. So working in the area of children programming, being on shows that are geared toward youth and kids, it's another area, another way the actors work. So what we're going to do today is imagine you have a host or hostess of a TV show, but I am a host of of the story time. My name is Princess Lena. I'm the host, host of story time. That's what my imagination I'm using. And we're going to narrate the story. So you'll see an image, like right now I have this image of the gold coins. So then I'm going to tell a story about the gold coins and imagine the television audience are a bunch of children. So I do something like this. Hello, boys and girls, and Princess Selena. Welcome to Story Time. And today, I'm telling the story of the magic coins. Once upon a time, there were some magic coins. And every time you pick up a coin and make a wish, that wish came true. And people from all over the town wanted to make sure they had the magic coins, but they were kept secret by the mean old elf. All right? So again, I'm just doing a video, I just do a long story, but just the idea of being really imaginative and imagine you're telling a story to children, okay? So that's what we're gonna work on today. But imagine you're telling a story to kids. You are gonna get really imaginative. Imagine there's little children in front of you. And those that we're gonna, I'm gonna give you three images for stories. And you're gonna create a story with improvisation or really create your character, right? I'm Princess Lena. So you start out with, hello, Hello, children. Welcome to story time. I'm whatever your character is. And today, my story is about, and then I'll give you the image that you create your story of. Okay? So we're going to do three different months. We're about to go to the first one. So this is the image of a witch. She's in a bottle and like a glass. She doesn't look very happy. She's she said, so we have a wicked witch she's in a glass, like a glass jar. She looks like she's stuck in there. So the story is the witch who was stuck in the glass jar. All right? So again, you introduce yourself, your story time character, host, and then you're going to, the first story you're going to tell is the witch who was stuck in the glass jar. Okay, so let me grab my clapboard. So again, you do this, and I'll let you go for a bit with your two tapes of each, right? Okay, so again, you introduce yourself, and then you your host character. The first story, the witch was stuck in the glass jar. Okay, ready? Story time, witch 
Stack in the glass jar. Take one and action. So you're using your imagination to introduce yourself and tell the story of the witch was stuck in the glass jar. So create that story out of your imagination. Really be animated with your body. Remember, kids are watching this. Get them getting cut. All right, but you can be short story chatter. This one is to to use to use to be really animated and creating some images with your voice. So we'll do that one more time. The witch was stuck in the glass jar. Don't worry if it's word for word right now. It's just the process we're going through. Ready? The witch who was stuck in the glass jar. Take two and action. Can you say your name of your character? Welcome to story time. Then you tell the story. The witch who was stuck in the glass jar. You got getting cut. All right, let's go through another story. All right, so this time again, your story, we have a bear. I'm looking out the window. He looks very lonely. So this is the story of the lonely bear. Okay, so again, you're introduced here. Welcome to story time. The name of your character. And today, it's the story of the lonely bear. Ready? Story of the lonely bear and action. So it's like to know the name of your character today of the story of the lonely bear. And you create that story to use your imagination. Okay, guys getting cut, let's do it one more time. Again, we're just getting the intros, guys. Just show it, just to get the idea, okay? So, again, your name of your character. As I said, I'm Pennsylvania. Welcome to story time. Today's story is the Lonely Bear, okay? The Lonely Bear, take two and action. Really be animated. Really tell the story, guys. When I capture these kids that are watching their imagination, right? Good, 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 and cut. Good. I hope you're having fun, right? Good. Okay. Now we go to our final one. Which is a magic cave. A magic cave. So again, we do three takes. Hello, this is your character. Welcome to story time. Today's story is called The Magic Cave. Okay. Ready? And the magic cave, take one and action. Okay, good and cut. Good, good. Magic K, take K, take two. Ready? Name. Welcome to story time. You today story the magic K and action.
You said good, good job, good job, and cut, cut. Great job. All right, guys, let's go to our creative character challenge. All right, so guys, our creative character challenge is gonna take one of these stories, but only there, the magic tape or the witch who was stuck in a jar, and you're gonna create a story and share that on the, the host that you created. So I'm gonna know the show is story time. The thing with the host is whatever name you come up with and the story you're telling is either about the lonely bear, the witch who was stuck in the jar, or the magic cave. All right. So the little thing you're gonna create that story, send that, videotape it, and um send that tape to me via email or text or Facebook, however you do that. All right. Remember our showcase is April 1st. And I'm putting all the things you're sending me in that acting showcase. Um Tomorrow will be another encore class for COVID in Friday. So I continue to prepare for our radio show. And we will um, finish the definition of radio show audition. But you guys are doing so great. I'm so proud of you. So now let's end it the way we begin it with a little more a moving and a grooving. Okay, guys, I forgot to say it. Send your character creative challenges to D E J C L A S S at gmail.com, both on Facebook or text or call 323 364 2478. Let's move it and move it! <laughs> Wow.